Hi, my name is Jill Fitzhirschbold. I'm a photographer and I live on Vancouver Island. I moved here 25 years ago and study environmental science and I've never left. Uh, I just can't imagine living anywhere but somewhere by the water. Um, it's that love of the sea that over the last few years left me, well led me to become a dive master and the quiet beauty of what it looks like below the surface is what I tried to capture on film just to let people know what it looks like and and that was really the start of everything. Uh, as uh, time has gone on and families come into my life and my two beautiful girls, uh, I spend much less time under the water, but do spend countless hours sailing across the surface and exploring uh, the forests around the, around the sea. Um, I still can't resist an incredible sunrise or sunset or trying to capture the calmness of the water. Uh, but I found another avenue of expression that um, it's really difficult to put into words. Uh, my abstract and architectural images um, really reveal my appreciation of the lines and the symmetry that exists, um, the treasures you can find in discarded objects, um, the old stories you may hear in old buildings or or fishing boats. Um, as with the series I have at Dale's this month, um, these boats are from Fisherman's Wharf and um, they're all truly unique when you have a look at them. Um, especially the, the hulls, they really give you an idea of the kind of um, weather that they've been through and uh, who's been tending them and painting them and repairing them and just keeping them solid for that, for that next journey. Um, when I'm in the presence of these boats, I, I can't help but start to imagine the stories that have been told on board by the people that have owned them or worked on them and the time they've spent together and what they've shared and the families that, that they have. And it's really, what I do with the camera is really just take a slice of that, just a moment just kind of freeze it um, within the image. Um, many people ask me uh, a bit about my, my post-production work and if I manipulate the, the images. And um, I do have a set of self-imposed limitations that I, I have put on my work. And um, I crop them or change the size of them. Or less with the two shots over here, I've actually changed the orientation, I've rotated them, so the water line on the boat hull is no longer horizontal, and it's just the way that I've pictured the color um, and lines of the boat reflected in the water to be. Um, I do uh, intensify the color and saturate it, but I don't actually add anything to the image that isn't, doesn't already exist. Um, for instance, on this hull, the red line that comes down on the water line, um, that red line would exist there. I didn't uh, dip into a Photoshop and decide to add a red line. That's already in the shot. Um, I'm also asked um, how I come up with my names for everything, because there's quite a few images and names, and really that's... Uh, a combination of my thoughts and feelings and especially music. Um, my mind and my heart are completely surrounded by music and every memory and moment that I have in my life can be attached to some song, some lyric, some rhythm that um, I, I keep with me. So whenever I'm sitting down working with the images I always have music on it could be a, a, a mood or a feeling or a thought or it could be me driving which music I pick or the music could pick me and within that I usually hear a, a lyric or a word that just seems to sit right with what I'm working with and that's how those come together. So really my images are a combination of 
thoughts and feelings and music and the energy that I perceive to be within the objects and the stories that they could tell if they were able to. I know that I'm, I'm blessed and that I'm doing exactly what I should be at this time of my life. Thank you. Okay, well, it's very difficult for an artist to talk about his work or her work. But here goes, I'm going to say a lot. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about the paintings, if you'll let me. Um, these three, sorry, Mike. These three were done uh, in the last month, especially for the show. And as you can tell, it's all about the gate of harmonious interest, which is just up the road. And I decided to do them at night to show off all the red lamps and lights. And I like this one because of the, uh, the reflections. The reflections are mostly coming from that street over there. And I always like to incorporate some people in the work and cars because that's what you see around us. But, and a big but, the one on the very left is more abstract. It may look like a balloon going off into space, uh, but that's a moon behind there, so you've got the re repeat of shapes. And I decided not to have the cars, not to have the people, not to have too much, just a general little abstract. I think I'm going to try and introduce more abstract rendering in my work. I think I am. I haven't made up my mind yet. That's so nice about being art. You know, you start a painting and then it develops a mind of its own and just carries on developing. And it's a series of adjustments. I wouldn't say corrections. I just say that if you start something and you put something over here, then you feel, okay, it needs something over there. And you kind of balance it out as you go along. So that's basically what, uh, what I've been doing. And uh, nocturnes have been a lot of fun. I don't know if I'm going to do some more just yet. I'll probably go back to my landscapes and my portraits. I love portraits. Anyhow, that's my little piece here on the show, and I wish all my fellow artists a great deal of luck. Many, many sales.